For as babely as the cast of the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is, the movie literally feels like Marvel decided to try its hand at copying Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards, and it does not do a particularly good job at it. <clears throat> Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. Once again, we've got one of those events that I think is way too cool to not bring you guys along with me. I recently got invited to a very special screening of the upcoming film, The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I am so stoked about this because it's not just a screening, but it's also going to be a super cool event. So what are we waiting for? Let's do it. So I just pulled up to Silver Spot Cinemas here in Brickell and Miami for the premiere of the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I'm super stoked. Like I said before, the cast is absolutely stacked. And of course, you guys know me, I'm a little excessive, so I had to kind of theme my look around the era. The movie is a World War II movie, so I've got my pearls. I've got a nice dress. You know, I had to get a little excessive with it. I honestly think I'm the only one themed to the event, but that's okay. And we are officially in the auditorium. And because this is Miami, the fact that I am 10 minutes early means that there is literally nobody else in here. Like there's not a single other seat filled in this theater, but that means that I got my pick of the lot. I'm really excited to watch this one. So let's see how it goes. After that, we went down to Miami's historic Bayside so that we could hop on this historic vessel and take a tour of the iconic Biscayne Bay. The city looked absolutely spectacular. It was awesome to see the bridges all lit up. A highlight for me was actually seeing the cruise ship terminals, which look gorgeous at night. And they're surrounded by these gantry cranes that you can see here, and they kind of remind me of AT-ATs. It was honestly just a really great experience. The night was gorgeous. The weather was perfect for being out on the water. And I'm so sorry but I have to include this real quick while we were waiting to get picked up I saw raccoons at Bayside and raccoons are my favorite animals on the planet so that really tied the whole night together so that was my experience at the screening and the promo event that followed I had an absolute blast and now it's time to give you my review this is basically a superhero movie cosplaying as a World War II historical picture. For as babely as the cast of the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is, the movie literally feels like Marvel decided to try its hand at copying Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards, and it does not do a particularly good job at it. For my rating, I'm giving the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare a 5 out of 10. And I can understand that this probably sounds a little bit harsh, but I was just expecting so much more from this movie, and that honestly might be my fault. I I am kind of a huge history buff. In college, in the place of electives, I just took more history classes that I didn't need to take. So when I heard that this was based on a true story, I basically just ignored any and all trailers and dove into the screening just to see what the movie had to offer. And I think maybe the fact that I had no expectations meant that my expectations were too high and I should have gone in with the expectations that I was watching something like Transformers or Godzilla or a recent Marvel movie. Movie. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is in fact based on a true story and they give you some facts about it at the end, but the movie 100% makes these people feel like cartoons. From the moment the film started, it essentially feels like a World War II Avengers type thing. You've got your stereotypical establishing of the team, you've got constant one-liners, every single character is more quirky than the next. It's incredibly formulaic and even though it really tries to make an effort to build real tension, and it tries to do so in a very Tarantino-esque way. These scenes of long dialogue, these dramatic zooms, these little things that you have to be paying attention to. This isn't really a spoiler because I'm not gonna tell you at which point in the movie this happens, but if you watch Inglorious Bastards, there's a scene in a bar where one of the characters gives himself away by essentially making the wrong three sign, and that ends up turning everything to hell in a handbasket, and the same thing almost happens in the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, except somebody says a line in Yiddish instead of German, and everything goes to hell. And it's stuff like that that honestly makes this movie feel way less like its own Lionsgate standalone blockbuster, and way more like the Disneyland version of Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. Interestingly enough, actor Till Schweiger, he actually plays Sergeant Hugo Stiglitz, who is part of Aldo Reign's group, 
in Inglorious Bastards, and he's also in the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I wonder if they tried to get anybody else from that group in this movie. So I was not a big fan of the plot, the pacing, or the dialogue, but I will say that the action is good action. Like I said, this is a popcorn movie, and it's really good at being a popcorn movie if that's what you expect from it. The action is really well done, the fight scenes are really well choreographed, and there's some scenes that are kind of nail biters and very entertaining, but again, none of that is derived from good plot or character building or dialogue, it's all just built from action. That's literally the real value from this movie. I will also say that the other real value in this movie is the fact that half the cast is absolutely delicious. Alan Richson and Henry Cavill are both actually very good in this movie. And I'm just gonna nitpick real quick. I would like for historical slash period pieces to stop casting people that are so full of plastic surgery that they obviously could have never existed in that time period. Asa Gonzalez is absolutely beautiful, but the overfilled lips, the sucked out cheeks matched with the enormous white veneers really make me feel like I'm watching a cosplayer and not somebody who actually existed in the 40s. Disclaimer before everybody attacks me in the comments, everybody is entitled to their plastic surgery. If I had money, I'd go fix a bunch of sh too, but then I would not be trying to pretend that I was somebody alive in the 40s. Just saying. I will say that the soundtrack for this movie is actually really good. That was actually the highlight of it. Besides the fact that Alan Richson spends the whole time sweaty and in a tank top, the music and sound design was actually spectacular. And if you watch it in an IMAX theater like I did, the explosions will literally rattle your ass while you're sitting down. And that was enjoyable had I remembered to turn off my brain before taking a seat. Look, I think a 5 out of 10 for this movie is fair, considering the fact that I felt every minute of its two-hour runtime, I honestly was never wrapped up in it purely because the dialogue and the pacing were just so juvenile. I don't think that this is a bad movie. I think it's fun. I'm just well aware that I went into it expecting much more than I should have, and of course that affected the way that I saw it. If you go in with the understanding that this is a popcorn movie. There is no historical value here. The dialogue will not be well written. The plot will not be well paced out. There is nothing that you cannot guess from the minute it starts. Everything is 100% purely formulaic and it's corny as sh if you go in with these expectations in mind, you will probably have fun watching two hours of action, cheesy one-liners, and babes doing what they do best. But if you go in expecting to be scintillated, you're gonna be really disappointed. So let's wrap this up. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare gets a 5 out of 10 for me. Its pros include an absolutely babely cast, fantastic action sequences, really great fight choreography, and a killer soundtrack. The cons? It 100% feels like Inglorious Bastards got badly copied and pasted with a printer that was running out of ink, the dialogue is pretty poorly written, it's full of one-liners, and for a movie supposedly based on a true story, I felt like I was watching a superhero flick and not anything that ever really happened. Ever. But if you go in just to have a good time and be entertained, you'll probably like this movie a lot more than I did. I hope you guys liked the vlogging element to this video. I hope to do more stuff like that soon. And that's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, be sure to check me out on Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, this channel, and my content creation, do check out and consider subscribing to my Patreon for exclusive photo shoot sets and content. I will add links to both in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare in the comments below.